What's up everybody, Freebooter here, and this is what I sold during the weekend on eBay. So I didn't really sell that much, just six items, but let's jump right into it. So first we sold this Star Wars 19, what is it, 1979 Boba Fett. I got this out of the toy bins at Goodwill. They have these little green bins at Goodwill. The toys are five for a dollar or 10 for a dollar 50. So I pulled this guy out of there with nine other toys for $1.50. Sold him for $25 within a day. I've actually found Boba Fett a bunch of times and he sells pretty fast each time. This guy is really worn and his limbs are a little bit loose. So if you find this guy in good shape with his blaster, he actually is supposed to come with a blaster and the blaster itself is, is worth about as much as Boba Fett. So he's worth about 25 to 30, depending on the condition. And the gun itself is worth like 20 to $25. So if you find this guy with the gun, you could probably get $50 to $60 for him pretty easily. Next, I sold this Betamax tape. This is recorded off of TV. You got Star Trek, The Next Generation, War of the Worlds. Those are TV series. Um, Detective School Dropouts. That's just something recorded off of like HBO or something. And you got the old Monsters series. So this has all the commercials. It has three shows with all the commercials on it. And I got $25 for this. I did test it out. So if you're going to sell this kind of stuff, it's going to be pretty time consuming to actually play it in a VCR or a Betamax player. You could, because you got to you got to play the tape and fast forward to see if it has commercials and if the entire episode is there and so forth. But you can pick this up for next to nothing. I got this in a huge lot for almost nothing. I got $25 for it. Next, I sold this Nintendo 3DS game, Mario Kart 7. Sold it for 12 bucks. No big deal. Sold within a couple days. The only reason I bother selling this cheap stuff is because it is easy to ship, easy to list. Next, I sold this super cool dinosaur. And it is a Concavenator. I believe that's how you pronounce the dinosaur's name. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. It's a pretty strange looking little dinosaur. He's got a fin on his back. But when you're trying to sell plastic dinosaurs, it really depends on the brand name and the dinosaur itself. So this is made by Safari Limited 2018. And there is a bunch of Safari Limited stuff that's not really worth selling unless you want to sell like seven or eight dollar stuff. But because this dinosaur is a little bit more rare and I don't think many companies make this, di this exact dinosaur. So I got 20 bucks for this. I picked it up in a lot of really cool dinosaurs for 20 bucks. I got like 10 dinosaurs for $20 and I sold just this one for 20 bucks. Next, we sold this Super Nintendo. This is the Junior the or Mini or whatever you want to call it. The SN, it's the SNS 101 model, the smaller version. And this one's pretty dirty actually. It's all, it's got crayons on it or something. It's got a sticker on it. It's definitely not in mint condition. They're probably not even going to be able to get that coloring off. I got this in a lot with a Sega CD actually, the Model 1 Sega CD. I paid 20 bucks for two consoles. I already sold the Sega CD. I think I got 100 bucks for it and I got $50 for this. This sold within like two days. And next we got three VHS tapes. This is Star Wars. These are actual, actually the red label Star Wars. We got all three of them. And the difference between the other Star Wars you see via, on VHS versus the red label one is this is the original version of Star Wars. Over time, George Lucas actually changed Star Wars and they stopped producing the original version. So this is the original version without all of the computer generated images and so forth and these still go for some money. As you can see, there's a cut in there. Uh, there's a cut in here. The Empire Strikes Back is in the best condition. It's probably, I think it's probably the most highly sought after. If you get these like sealed or something, I think you can get 25, 30, maybe more per video. But yeah, definitely keep your eye open for these because you can pick these up for like four for a dollar. I did, I actually did pick these up four for a dollar. I've seen them as low as 10 for a dollar. VHS tapes are almost free these days. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Freebooter out. Peace.